92.1 WROU Dayton's R&B leader. And this guy is literally guy. And he is the best at making me absolutely laugh. One of my first interviews when I came to Dayton. And every time he comes to the funny bone, he pops in. But we're getting him in advance of him getting to the city. Guy Tory, my friend, how are you, my love? What's up? Beautiful, what up, Faith? What's going well, on, baby? Here, you come into town this weekend. Yes. This is a big weekend because it's Thanksgiving weekend. You're gonna be at the Dayton Funny Bone. All the family's gonna be in town, so you know that's the place to take them. After you feed them, get ready for the weekend, and we're gonna spend it with you. Give us the details, babe. Hey, you know I'm coming to town Thanksgiving weekend, so I'm so I'm I'm letting my Thanksgiving weekend go to spend my Thanksgiving weekend in Dayton, Ohio, because they couldn't get me in this year. This is the only weekend they could get me in before the year ended. So, and I don't really work in December. So I'm like, you know what? I'll do it. I'll I'll, I'll sacrifice to come to Dayton because Dayton always shows up and I love Dayton, Ohio. So I'm, I'm coming there with some new material and just a lot of fun. We got a hometown guy, Wyatt, who's going to be opening on, who will be on the show as well. So it could be a lot of fun. Well, it's always a bunch of fun with you, sir. Always a bunch of fun because I tell people all the time, guy is like that funny cousin that any <laughs> other family, any family <laughs> event cannot get popping until he shows up. And the That's first right. thing you're going to do is take the whole family down a notch. You're going to let everybody have it, but your family to us. And so what yes. can we expect on this show? Uh, uncut, unplugged, unbelievable, you know, uh, Guy Tory. I mean, everything that's going on in the news from Kyrie to Kanye to our, our Jewish brothers and sisters to, you know, Trump to my own personal life, my news stories. It's all going to be it's all going to be going down at the funny bone. But now people don't even understand that you are ridiculously funny on your own. But you are a phenomenal writer. You've been writing, I mean, all the way back to the early episodes of Martin. You were in there killing it. The young kid just knocking it out of the park. I was writing before I even got my teeth fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you who saw the documentary know what I'm talking about. We do a whole section on my teeth in the Fat Tuesday documentary which is still streaming well on Amazon Prime. But yeah, writing is something that you got to do in Hollywood because you, you can't be a one-trick pony, especially when you're black. Because, you know, you see when they, when, they, when they come for you one way, you got to come at them another way. And, and you know, we can't, we can't rely on just all, our main talent. You got to have other talents, and I'm using all mine. God gave me a lot of gifts, and I'll be damn sure if I won't use all of them. Well, let's talk about Fat Tuesday. You were in the studio with me years ago yes and you said hey i got something i'm working on and yeah. you know it's crazy it's got family it's got friends but it really tells the story of how this thing has really taken off and baby it has taken off you did Yo. everything you said you were gonna do tell hey. us about it and how we can check it out fat tuesdays is the, is a great 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 documentary done uh on amazon prime I created the night, I created the documentary. I had a co-exec producer in Kelsey Grammer. I had a co-exec producer in Reggie Hudlin, who also directed it. If you hadn't seen, you know, Black Godfather, and or if you haven't seen the Sydney 48 documentary, Reggie Hudlin did both of those, but he, he, I was blessed enough to have him do the Fat Tuesday documentary, and it's fire. I didn't realize how, how, how big of an impact that that night had on a lot of comedians. And I mean, the, the documentary stars Snoop Dogg, it stars Cedric, my brother Joe, one of the last interviews with Bob Saget. It has uh, Chris Tucker, Steve Harvey, you name it, they're in there. Tiffany Haddish, uh, man, it's, 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 it's a great people. Regina King, Anthony Anderson, just some of the, your favorite funny people in this documentary. And they came together for me uh, to do this doc. They did it for free. They did it during COVID. And I couldn't be thankful enough um, for what they did. Now, you, sir, thanked, I mean, it's one thing to drop names. You just pushed <laughs> the whole name barrel over and they all came tumbling out. But right. to have people take time out of their lives in a very, very scary time to yeah. do that with you is absolutely phenomenal. And I know you've already said thank you to them. I know you've already done 
all the kudos to everybody. But let me say thank you to you because there's so much about the craft that people just don't realize goes into it to let us come and put our troubles down and simply laugh with you, be engaged with you for an hour, 90 minutes, whatever the time is that we're going to spend with you when you're on stage. We don't know what goes on in your lives and behind stage that you have to put down in order to entertain us. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I receive those flowers, man. People really don't understand the life of a comedian. They see the finished product on stage, but mm -hmm. you know, the broken family lives we go through, the alcohol abuse, the drug abuse, the, the what we put in our bodies health wise, flying late nights, early flights. And you know, I, I want to take this opportunity to shout out Sinbad right now, who's yes. recovering from a stroke that he had, who've been putting it down for years. Years. For years. And he don't drink or smoke. But the traveling and our diets and everything, man, and we do it, we do it because we love it. And we do it because we just want to make people laugh. And sometimes I just wonder, you know, uh, if people even care. Yeah. You know, we care about our craft so much, yeah. and and uh, that we we go we would do it for free. It would yeah. be stupid, but we'd do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah. So I appreciate it, and that's what I wanted to do with this the documentary is give people their flowers. And the next step, for the next series that I'm working on right now is a sequel to what I did. And this is wow. really giving a lot of comedians their flowers. Uh, why they're still here. Sure, sure. Yeah. What we don't understand is that sometimes the saddest people in the world are the mm. funniest people in the world. And we as comedians, as personalities, we turn ourselves inside out right. just to give joy to other people. Right. And it's and it's a tough journey for you guys because you guys eat every single day because you've made people laugh yeah. and that's that's a hard job because everything's not funny but you wow. guys you but you guys find the humor in the most tragic situations and give us an opportunity to apply that in our lives and again we say thank you and of course Dayton Funny Bone this weekend yes. Guy Tory is in Dayton and he's going Friday to turn it Saturday. out going to turn yes, it out Come, I, I'm flying a long way and spending time away from my family to be with y'all. So I hope y'all come and be my family for the weekend at the Dayton Funny Bone this weekend, Friday and Saturday. Let's sell this place out. Absolutely. Let's make it off the hook. Yes. On, the, on this side of the post, you are going to see all the details of how you can get tickets. You can always go online and click the link and purchase. It's easy to do. Take your entire family. And of course, it's right there at the green. It's not a long drive. You get to nope. see Guy in person in town. And I'm telling you, you don't want to miss it. Guy, tell us, what do you have coming up next? a movie I'm, I'm coming back to acting uh, unretired i got tired of you know some of the shenanigans so i took a break from acting for a minute but i got bit by the acting bug i really really miss you know being in production i really really miss filming and becoming a character so hope street holiday is an independent film that i did for a friend and uh i got bit by the bug i, I enjoyed the acting so uh if you go to my my instagram at guy tour you'll see the information on hope street holiday and that'll be my introduction, my reintroduction back into acting. And I'm back, baby. And I'm well, coming. I'm coming harder this time. Well, tell me some of the things that you're going to be interested in doing, some of the interesting roles that you're really looking to take on. You know, I really enjoy the dramatic roles and the action roles. And, and that's where I want to go. I mean, I've done American History X and I've done Don't Say a Word and those dramatic films, but I want to go deeper. I want to do deeper character dives and things like, oh, me hoping this plane right here probably another studio trying to get my ideas. You know, they always flying over That's right. to get the ideas. <laughs> you know, I'm in Miami right now enjoying this weather before I hit Dayton because it's going to be cold in Dayton. I already know. Yes, sir. I already yes, know. sir. I already know. So, yeah, so I just want a dive, a, 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 a deeper dive into more serious roles and really playing characters. Of three, I see a lot of movies out there with people who can't act. I'm just going to be correct. honest with you. That's correct. And I'm like, come on now. You when you when you hire people who can't act, then you're taking the opportunity to be nominated for Emmys and Oscars away from our community, a black community, and that could be done by someone who can pull that role off and really get an, an Emmy or, or an Oscar nod. Well, not only that, you're just using up a bunch of money for nothing. Just for using nothing. up a bunch of money, doing nothing. Yeah. 
You got to see Guy Tory this weekend in Dayton, Ohio, 429-5233, area code 937-429-5233. Please get your tickets. Come check out my home team. And I mess appreciate it. I love you, Faith. Weekend. Absolutely. Always my pleasure. And of course, 429-5233. And you never know where you're going to see me pop up. And when you do, make sure you speak. Guy Tori, we're going to see you this weekend. That's Dayton. right. I I'll be there. It. I Thank love you. it. Get your tickets. 429-5233. Guy Tori in Dayton this Thanksgiving weekend. You don't Bring want to the miss family. the opportunity. Bring the entire family. Wheel grandma in there. She ain't doing nothing. Bring her on out and hey, let's my have a good time. My jokes to make a walk. My jokes to healing. <laughs> she get and about that's that, what it's about. Get about that chair. That's what I it's about. You. Laughter is healing. And it is definitely fun when you can do it with people you love. Dayton Funny Bone this weekend. It's Guy Tory. It's 92.1 WROU.